That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. The young miss is so poorly. <laughs> the master can barely see it. Because with her, with him, she's okay, but I, I see her by day and she's just moaning around. She's even starting lying on the bed like a friend and not doing anything. But that's no way I'm leaving, but I'm not happy. She won't be separated from Carmilla. I tried to pull her apart, but she said, No! I must stay! As if she was deranged. All night they sit there, talking, talking. I leave the room next door to the young miss so that she can ring for me and I can hear voices and then it worse than it, silence. Utter silence. No. But that's not why I'm leaving. No. It was tonight. It was late. It was about 12. And I just thought, because it had been silent now in Mrs. Room, I'll just check Anna. Make sure she's all all right. I hope she'd gone to bed. She'd said something to me that, about having an early night. That was before Camilla had got up. I opened the door a crack and I looked in. And the two of them were there. And the young miss was laid out on the bed. And Camilla. Camilla was lying on her stomach. And as I watched... She bent down, and her teeth all seemed to flash white. And she bit the mess down just above the stomach it were, I think. Well, I, d I didn't know what to do. I dropped something, I looked, and they looked up. And all of a sudden, I don't know. I, I could have sworn Camilla was there, but there was just a cat in the room. And my miss throwing things at me and calling me a peeping Tom. Well, I'm not staying at being salted. I'm patting my trunk tonight. I'm off, I tell thee. I'm off. I don't want to come back. But the truth be said, I'm worried. Because I know that mess. The mess has got that place on her stomach. So she doesn't tell. She doesn't tell her and I don't know about it. But I saw it once when she was getting dressed and I asked her and she said it was there but she had it under control. I'm going to leave a note for the master. Tell him to take her to the doctor. But I, I would go to Dr. Hines, I think. He's the one who's best at that kind of thing. He knows about things. Bye, Marv. I never want to see this house no more. <laughs>